Each year, Super Bowl ads turn more and more into Rube Goldberg machines. And this year is no exception. But if you're like me and you don't have billions of dollars just floating around to gamble with, is there really anything that a small to medium-sized business can learn from in order to achieve uh, similar results? You bet your ass. Ah, the Super Bowl. The one day a year where people actually look forward to watching commercials. <laughs> It's also a day that many companies use to base their own ads on for some reason. And you you can admit it, we've we've all done it. I got a really big Torito. But before you go and just blanket copy the mechanics of what it is that everybody else is doing. And apparently, if you're in Vegas, Doritos even lets you take this awesome pyramid-shaped building and turn it into a chip. I'm not in Vegas though, I'm not, not in Vegas. A much more effective strategy is to just look at what's going on under the hood because that's what really matters, not what something is as much as what something means. And these guys are doing something smart, the expensive way. But it's something that we really all should be doing a lot more of anyway. What is it? Well, so apparently there's now a filter that could turn that piece of paper into Doritos. Let's check it out. So believe it or not, there's actually a method to the madness that these advertisers are using. They're not just throwing money at a wall and hoping that it sticks. They're leveraging the power of psychology to create very memorable experiences that stick with you long after that whistle blows. So, Dove is one of the things is Dove is coming out with a very body positive filter for Instagram. And, you know, I thought it would be like really cool and I just wanted to share it. But then I realized that that's kind of like buying your partner exercise equipment or diet books for an anniversary. The truth is, it is really cool stuff, but you don't need to spend mega bucks to have similar effects and help your company reach that that next level. That's right. With just a little bit of creativity, and some ingenuity, you could achieve Super Bowl level success without breaking your company's bank. How? Well, essentially what they're doing is they're just building a sense of connection with their market by interacting with them. And then they're anchoring products to just household items or every everyday things. And it's something that you could do too. And not only is doing the same thing for you e probably easier, but if you're a local company, by that very fact, you have an advantage. You know, if somebody advertising on the Super Bowl is in your market anyway. And all you really gotta do is just create engaging content that tells your story in a way that anchors things that everyone, especially people in your market can relate to. And if it's local and you share a heartwarming story that's memorable, People won't just enjoy it, but if you're showing folks how you're out in the community, how you're raising money for a good cause, they can even anchor parts of that community to you, which, I mean, I know that that might not sound as cool as Dorito windows. This is a Dorito. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit carried away turning things into Doritos. The point is, do not, under any circumstances, underestimate the power of storytelling whether it's through social media, email marketing, that good old fashioned word of mouth. Sharing your brand's story is the key to building so connections with your audience. All right. all right, so number two, forget about all the flashy gimmicks that you see and focus on building connections with your own community. Engage with them on social media, respond to their comments and messages and show them that you're listening. And this is something that I think a lot of people are doing, but they might be coming across as preachy instead of instead of sagey. Saggy? Sage? Saged? Is that a word? And if you're not, even if you don't think anybody will respond, even if nobody does respond, anybody who sees you posing a question to your public will be thinking about it. Banana. You. You just thought about bananas, and you had no choice but to think about it. Even to understand what it is that you see, you have to think about it. So ask away, engage, and don't be afraid to get creative with your marketing efforts. 
I don't mean like what you're gonna see on Sunday. I mean creative. Whether it's hosting a virtual event, partnering with other businesses, which if you're not in cahoots with as many people as can help you, think of all the goods that can come your way just by helping each other out. So get in cahoots, whatever those are. The point is, thinking outside of the box is the key to standing out in a crowded marketplace. Oftentimes, it's just shouting your USP. I did help one client though, just by pointing out in their ads something important that they do, even though everybody else does it. If it's not common knowledge, then you become the guy who does the thing that the thing is supposed to do. It's kind of like Kermit in the Muppet movie. Uh, have you tried something simple like Ocean Breeze soap will get you clean? Well, I think I rambled long enough for one day, so if you found any of this content useful, fun, mind-blowingly brilliant, don't forget to share, like, and smash whatever button it is that you pick last. Until next time. I don't have a thing yet, like a... Uh,